So welcome to another Key Productive video. Today we'll be exploring Notion versus Confluence versus Tetra. Now I'm really excited to dive into this feature and we're really lucky to be partnered with the leading software comparison site Capterra to help you make more informed choices on what software you choose to go with. Now you can use Capterra's wide variety of insights and reviews to help you make better decisions. Now, it's great to have them on as a sponsor. Today, I'm actually bringing my own knowledge to the table uh, to review these applications, so I'm eager to dive in. But you can check out Captera's resource to all three of these applications in the description below. So all of these applications are really designed for team situations. Now, it's great um, that we can sort of put them head to head. So let's start with availability. Now, availability is really key because sometimes it's important that uh, you need access as your team are out and about, uh, and maybe you're uh, meeting with clients or even taking work trips. So making sure you have it on the devices that matter is really key. So Notion is available on all devices, whilst Confluence is also available on all devices. For those who don't know, Confluence is actually owned by Atlassian. Now, Tetra is the sort of outlier here. They're only available on web, and they do have a pretty powerful Slack integration, which allows you to keep uh, things updated inside of Tetra without leaving the application. Okay, so let's take a look at pricing. So Confluence is actually free for up to 10 users. You do get two gigabytes of storage for those 10 users, which is fairly reasonable for uploading files and information. But essentially in Confluence, you can create a wiki-like experience and do some minor project management, uh, which a lot of people like. But after those 10 users, it's gonna cost you $5 per user after that, and they do have some uh, more expensive pricing plans that include uh, some uh, more details and more features. Now, Tetra is also free, uh, but it's only free for up to five users. After that, it's $99 per month for the first 10 users after the first five, if that makes sense. So, uh, and everyone after that is $8. Uh, so obviously uh, a fairly good free plan to get you started, uh, much like Confluence, uh, but a little bit more steeper in price, um, but it's like $9.99 um, for each user as your first 10, and then $8 after that. Now Notion is free and does have some good setup, but if you're looking for team pricing, it's $8 per user per month, which makes that application fairly reasonable, uh, aside from Confluence, which probably has the best pricing out of these three. So let's look at features. Now Confluence has been in the space for a while. As I said, it's been owned by Atlassian and they've been really innovating in the wiki space for quite a while. And I would say that's where a lot of Notion's inspiration came from is Confluence. But you can use it not just as a wiki, um, but also to plan projects as well and collaborate in real time. A lot of people like how the pages work and for development teams and marketing teams, they love how it connects to Jira, which is a, a really popular task ticketing service that keeps track of bugs and um, all of the sort of development insights. So Confluence is a great option for development teams um, and marketing teams alike. So if you're yet to explore the Captera feature where you go and find reviews from users, it's a great way to really narrow down your search. You can find that experience from people who are using it in Teams, and it's a great way to really find um, inform informative uh, decisions and opinions that people have made. Now, Tetra is a little bit different. It's actually got no sort of project management whatsoever, and it's much more of a knowledge base uh, a, a com in comparison with Notion and Confluence. So actually, you won't have to do all of that huge legwork to make things um, sort of set up. Inside of Tetra, the special features are, I guess, the Q&A abilities, allowing you to um, have question and answer prompts so that you can fill your knowledge base with really useful information. You can also have team experts as well, so that the insights that are trapped in siloed areas like Slack can be really drawn out. And they also do have a whole host of integrations to make sure the collective team bring all of their insights into Tetra. And finally, Notion is this combination between a wiki and a project manager. A lot of people love Notion, but much like Confluence, it does take a little bit of time to set up and get used to. 
So who would I best recommend this for? Now let's start with Tetra. I would probably say this is much more suitable for traditional teams and those teams that tend to get knowledge trapped in other applications. It's much more similar as an application to apps like Slab and Slight as a sort of pre-created wiki experience that really prompts teams to um, add their information and allow them to organize it in a nicer fashion. Whereas there's obviously a lot of education, a lot of sort of, um, you know, team administration around applications like Notion and Confluence to actually get them set up in the way that you want them to. So I would say it's much more traditional uh, and much more of sort of a knowledge hub than the other two, in my opinion. But if you're looking at Notion and Confluence, these two are fairly similar. Um, I would say that Notion is probably the better package overall uh, because it includes uh, much deeper project management abilities and also uh, the ability with databases to go much further. The customization is pretty uh, advanced. However, with Confluence, you do get a great wiki and it's much more of a visual blend between Dropbox Paper and Notion and it is a little bit cheaper um, in particular. And you know that it's also developed by Atlassian, which is a really long-standing company in the productivity space. Anyway, folks, a huge thank you for stopping by. Hopefully this helped you find an application um, and, and really uh, optimize your team for the best situation. Uh, thank you very much to Capterra for sponsoring today's feature. You can check them out in the description below. But a huge thank you. Please do make sure to subscribe and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.